has uh, considered this matter. And we give this ruling now. Our decisions will follow in due course in writing. The prosecution motion is allowed to this extent that the Croatia uh, and Bosnia indictments will be joined. However, the Kosovo indictment will not be joined, but will be tried separately and first, uh, beginning on the 12th of February next year. The pre-trial conference will be held uh, as arranged on the 9th of January. And as I say, our reasons will follow in writing. Now, there is time uh, to raise any other issues which uh, the parties uh, uh, wish to raise relevant to these proceedings. We'd be grateful if that could be dealt with as quickly as possible, given the hour. Prosecution first. Our only immediate and pressing concern relates to Rule 68 disclosure. Um, so far, I think Your Honour is the pre-trial judge in respect of Kosovo and Croatia. We have yet to discover who will be appointed in respect of the Bosnian part, but presumably it's likely to be Your Honour because um, you already see the Croatian and the two are now joined. I think that's liked. Um, the court has not announced uh, which chamber is to try the following trial as things are ordered to be disposed of by this chamber. The same trial chamber. Um, very well, that's very helpful. It would, I think, be helpful if we could have a hearing um, under, as it were, 65 term before the pre-trial judge, effectively, honest, to deal with Rule 68 in respect of all three matters. And as I indicated in the course of argument, I will um, have prepared before that meeting an extensive analysis of where we are in Rule 68 um, disclosure uh, practice and development um, in order that we can satisfy the Chamber, not that we're under an obligation to do ahead of events, but to satisfy the Chamber of what we are doing, um, get assistance from either the Chamber or from a learned friend, the Amici, in relation to what we're doing so that we can better inform everyone of the likely timescales involved in Rule 68 disclosure according to different criteria. That's what I wish to do. Uh, of course, a 65-ter hearing is, I think, nominally one which involves the parties, and for these purposes the parties doesn't actually include the Amici but should include either the accused or his lawyer. Um, the accused not being represented, it would have to uh, involve the accused himself. And we would have no objection, of course, to the Armici being present, subject to any observations that the accused himself. I, th I think the difficulty is um, the timing, the recess beginning. Uh, next week. Might it be possible to have such a hearing, if not before, then on the same day as the pre-trial conference in the Kosovo case? Is there any reason why it shouldn't be part of the pre-trial conference? Well, it, as, indeed, as it's the same trial chamber, no reason at all. That might be a convenient way to deal with it. And I'll get a report on what we're doing before you and served on 
the defendant, the accused, I beg your pardon, and they'll meet you as soon as I can before then. Yes, that would be helpful. I can't immediately think of any other issues that are arising at the moment. Thank you. Um, nothing occurs to us at this stage, um, Your Honour. Um, and the, the trial date being 12th of February for Kosovo is, is very helpful as we know what target we, we have to work to. Yes, um, it did appear there might have been some problems about disclosure, but it may be that you and the prosecution can work on that together. Yes, we, we have made a schedule of um, supporting material served as well as um, incorporating within that schedule the identities of those in the summary of their evidence and pointed out where we don't have statements of those within the summary supplied by the prosecution and where we have statements within the supporting material of those who haven't been included in the summary. It may be that there's a translation blockage which has prevented statements from being released. Or, or it may be that some of those witnesses are to be dispensed with. We don't know, but we did want to have identified, and it might well be helpful for the court to be in the same position, so that witnesses that are going to be relied upon so that we don't waste time reading statements of witnesses that are not going to be used in the trial. Um, I don't know whether the court was alert to that problem at the moment uh, in relation to the material. But we've served it on the prosecution today. It's a schedule that Mr Nice referred to this morning and I understand it's being reviewed and looked at. Apparently, the matter will be dealt with at least by the end of January, so we will tell. Well, yes, as far as we know, by the end of January, it's a question of getting the translated documents, translate, the documents to be translated, translated. Very helpful to have the schedule. The matter will be considered, and we'll make sure that there's nothing that we've overlooked that we shouldn't have overlooked. Yes, Mr. Fadiman. Yes, and may I add that the Amici are available to the Prost to uh, help them out, to uh, identify the criteria for accusatory evidence for their search. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Milosevic, there's one matter we want to raise with you. Uh, it's this. You haven't uh, appointed counsel to defend you. As you know, it's your right to defend yourself if you wish, although you may wish uh, to reconsider that in the light of the uh, complexity and seriousness of these charges. But that's uh, a matter for you. Meanwhile, uh, we would wish uh, to have this made clear. In the preparation of your defense, do you wish to have legal advice? And if so, from whom? I say legal advice and would add this legal advice or any other assistance. Now, would you deal with those matters? Do you want legal advice? Uh, and if so, from whom do you want it? I have been informed in the meantime that without my request you have assigned certain 
advice that I did not ask for. Interpreting my agreement to receive visits by certain individuals as a request for legal advice. My response to that has been addressed to the registry that I do not consider that whoever visits me and has a law degree uh, should be appointed as my legal counsel. And I don't think it would be permissible for visits to continue to be restricted, visits by persons who wish to visit me in accordance with the rules that you have established and uh, on a non-discriminatory basis, since other people in that prison are allowed such visits. Secondly, which I don't want advice. Mr. Livingston, which you under we understood you did. Who do you want it from? No, I'm not asking for any advice for, from anybody. I said that I would like to be granted the possibility to be visited by people who wish to visit me. That that you have a red camera. I was informed by the detention administration that the light has been switched off because the camera has been switched off, but I haven't been informed that uh, this uh, light that your um, spokesman mentioned has been switched off, and I request that it be switched off as well. We'll look into that. <coughs> now, Mr. Mosovic, is there anything else you want to raise? Our chamber will adjourn until the 9th of January. All rise for Yevulifet.